Longine brand, very important brand for us at uh, at Watch Hill Switzerland, part of the Swatch Group. Uh, with the help of Mark here, we're, uh, we're going to look at some really interesting products, the Grand, the Grand Classique and a Blue Dial and a Legend uh, uh, Diver. Um, so Mark, uh, get us going, let's talk about the, uh, the Grand Classique uh, and this really stunning blue. Yeah, I, I mean, you're right to reference Longines as an important brand because um, they're really well priced. Um, and you get a really high quality watch for the money. So uh, they're, they're a good middle market offer and you, and you see a really good example of it here. So the Grand Classique exists um, already in the collection in steel or, or in bicolor. Um, and what you have here is, is a very on-trend blue dial. So it's new for Longines in this particular model. The Grand Classique, it's a quartz movement, 24 mil case lovely bracelet and as I say it's, it's got a clean and cluttered dial there's, there's nothing really to, to, to dislike about this watch and um, and for sort of 690 pounds um, it's, it's a bit of a bargain if you want to bring a bit more life to it br brighten it up um, you can have a diamond dot dial and that's uh, that's 810 pounds so it, it's um, it's a great watch for the money really terrific stuff yeah, it's tremendous value for money we find in, in the UK that combination of steel and diamonds is really a uh, a great appeal to uh, to the women's market and long jeans do it really really well it is a really interesting brand uh, long jean i've had the pleasure of visiting them and right in the heart of the jura mountains in santa Maria. Uh, they were at the forefront of some real move forwards and manufacturing techniques and so on and it is a very significant and beautiful factory they have they also do some real technical developments as mm -hmm. well have done historically and are doing now and last year, for any of you that watched us, um, we did talk about a, a new development in terms of a quartz movement called the Conquest uh, BHP. It brings new levels of, uh, of accuracy. Uh, because of some production challenges, it's only available now, so you'll only see it in our stores now. But tell us, tell us about this new development, Mark. Yeah, VHP stands for, for very high precision. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a quartz watch, um, and it's really, really super accurate. Over 365 days in one year, it would, uh, it's accurate to within five seconds. That's incredible. That really is incredible. Every new year when the bells ring, you've just got to check and move it five seconds one way or another, yeah. and then you're, then you're set for the next year. The other, the other thing I remember about it was, um, was that um, it, it has a kind of sleep mode if it gets in contact with uh, some uh, magnetic field, so it, it turns itself off to protect the movement and then when the magnetic ma magnetism is gone, it turns itself back on and, and resets the time, I believe. So yep. it's quite a clever thing. It's uh, very clever and I think a great example of what, uh, what Longines bring to the industry. The last product we have to talk about, another sports watch that, uh, that they've called the Legend Diver. Yeah, um, again, the, uh, the Legend Diver currently exists in the collection as a, as a steel watch. Um, it sort of, again, references um, divers' watches from the past. It's, Quite a sort of retro look with a yep. with a bezel that's um, under the glass or, or a diver scale that's kind of under the glass, and you, you use the buttons to operate it. What they've done here, um, they've PVD treated the 42 mil case um, to give it a different look, uh, and it's also it's also on a black Milanese style rubber strap. Yep. Uh, comes out at 18 uh, 1870 pounds and is due out in December. It's a, a contemporary twist on a on a retro style diver's watch, giving it the sort of modern black treatment. So it looks really good. Yeah, no, I agree. It looks really cool. And just the last thing to ask you about, just to explain what you said about the uh, the actual bezel being the uh, being under the glass. Okay, so uh, so the the button at uh, at uh, two o'clock. Uh, if you turn that, it moves uh, the little triangle at 12. It moves round the uh, moves round the dial. So that's how you would time your dive. So while lots of bezels um, are lots of uh, yeah, lots of bezels are actually on the outside of the watch, and you turn them, this one's under the glass. Makes it look quite sleek, actually. It opens yeah. the dial up quite a bit. Yeah, so, so. And, 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 and very interesting. Yeah. So great, great. Thanks, Mark, and uh, thanks for all uh, tuning in um, and join us. We'll be reviewing all of the brands from uh, Baselworld 2018. Thanks for joining.